Why do you fast? This Shabbat will truly be a Sabbath of Sabbaths. It is Yom Kippur, our Day of Atonement. And it's well known that Jews fast on Yom Kippur, but why? Why do we fast? In the book of Numbers, we're taught that on the tenth day of the seventh month, we are to observe a sacred occasion where you shall practice self-denial, or as the Hebrew states, initem et nafshotechem, literally to afflict our souls. But what is meant by a practice of self-denial, and what does it mean to afflict one's soul? The word initem comes from the verb to afflict or deny oneself. It seems a little cruel, doesn't it? Maybe even sadistic? That we would afflict that part of us that's supposed to be pure, holy, and somehow connected to the oneness of the universe? If we look closely, we see that the word initem is very close to the same word, to the word anava, which means humility. On Yom Kippur, the action we're supposed to be engaged in is one that allows us to humble ourselves and to humble our souls. What a better way to humble oneself than to deny yourself something. It's a way to distance ourselves from the need for earthly things and to connect with the spiritual, if only for one day. When we fast, as hard as it may be, it's to move our beings in a particular direction, namely towards tshuva or repentance, a coming home, a reconnecting with the truer and the higher essences of ourselves. Maimonides, the great Jewish medieval thinker, explains that not only are we to refrain from food and drink on Yom Kippur, but were to refrain from washing, wearing leather, or engaging in sexual relations. Each of these actions, eating, washing, leather, and sex, are all things that should be pleasurable. And Yom Kippur, humbling the soul, is the refrain from such enjoyable things that we're so used to doing. I fast on Yom Kippur to honor the traditions of our culture and our religion. And it also gives me an opportunity to turn inward, to think about what has happened for me in the past year and what I hope to create in the year ahead. I fast on Yom Kippur to show my commitment to starting the new year right. We fast on Yom Kippur to remind us how thankful we are. I fast on Yom Kippur because it reminds me how lucky I am to have a roof over my head and food on the table. There is one other reason why we fast, brought to us by the prophet Isaiah some 2,700 years ago. He teaches that fasting alone is not enough unless there's a moral and ethical foundation to that ritual behavior. As he says, speaking for God, this is the fast I desire, to unlock the fetters of wickedness, and untie the cords of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free. It is to share your bread with the hungry and to take the wretched poor into your home. When you see the naked, to clothe him and to not ignore your own kin. Isaiah's message rings as true today as it did when he spoke it 2,700 years ago. Our fast should impact our souls. Our fast should humble us. And our fast should inspire us to help those in need, to feed those who are hungry, to advocate for the voiceless and the powerless, those yearning to live with the same degree of safety and security that we enjoy, those who seek a new home, those who want to get themselves away from the ravages that confront their daily lives, to give others some of the same opportunities we or our ancestors received, and most importantly, in the midst of looking inward while humbling ourselves, to not become so self-absorbed that we fail to see the hand that is held out to us and the eyes that look to us for help. Here's an idea to connect the need to humble our souls and to heed the word of Isaiah. Determine how much you spend on yourself feeding yourself over the course of a single day. The Starbucks, the snacks, the meals at a restaurant, the pastry grabbed as you're running for the train. Add it all up and donate it, ideally to Mazon, a Jewish response to hunger, so that others may benefit from a little of what you enjoy every single day. That way you will both humble your soul and will heed the word of Isaiah. And in the prophet's words, your light will burst through like the dawn. Wishing you and your family members an easy, meaningful, and impactful fast. May your final seal in the book of life be for goodness.